So leading on from the previous video, we want to solve 3 sine squared equals sine x between 0 and 2 pi, so in radians. Now, we don't solve this by dividing through by sine x, OK? We are going to move everything onto the left-hand side of the equal sign. So we're going to get 3 sine squared x minus sine x equals 0. And then we factorise. So we can bring sine x out of a single bracket, and we're going to have 3 sine x minus 1 inside the bracket. So either sine x is 0, or sine x is equal to 1 third. OK? And we have two equations here that we now must solve. So we sketch sine, OK? Now, this is uh, pi, and that is 2 pi, and there's 0. Now, we're solving between 0 and 2 pi, but as you can see, 0 is included, but 2 pi is not, OK? So when I'm solving sine x equals 0, it is 0 at 0 and at pi, but not at 2 pi because that is not a solution, OK? I'll circle it, but it's not one of the solutions that we're going to have here, OK? So, usually, of course, we would have done x equals inverse sine of 0, and what you should find is it is just 0, OK? So it's that point there. So we now have two solutions. We've got 0 and pi. We now need to solve sine x is 1 third. So we inverse sine, 1 third, OK? Making sure our calculator is in radians. So inverse sine of 1 third is 0 0.340 to three significant figures, or three decimal places. I'll put three decimal places. OK, so one third is this line here. This is my 0 0.340. And so this solution is pi take away 0 0.340. So pi take away the answer is 2.802 to three decimal places. And so the solutions that we have to the original problem is 0. We've got uh, this solution here, which was 0 0.340. We have uh, this solution, 2.802. .02. And we've got pi. OK? And they are the four solutions to the original problem. If we divided by sine x, we wouldn't have had that solution. So we would have lost two solutions from the problem.